The End was the name that I decided to give to my translation of the book of Revelation. Now, it was November 2014 when I finally got this finished, but back in about 2012, I had decided to start reading the book of Revelation once a week, and I'd eventually got to a point where I was reading it once a day. And the NASB was great, but I had four different print-offs of notes. I had printed the book out from the NASB four different times and written notes on all of them, and I just wanted to do more with Greek and original language. So that's when I got to translating this. See, originally that started because I started with the sacred charge, which you could look into that. It's connected with IHOP KC. It's, it's not really a registration with them. It's just like pray a lot and it was seven commitments of a forerunner. Mike Bickle talks about it. Well, I decided to do that a lot and pray a lot. And this book was my sacred charge project that just sort of happened as a result. I do believe when Alan Hood started doing his own version of the Sacred Charge, that led him to where he is at IHOP KC, but I'm not with IHOP KC. I love them, but that's another story. This is my translation of the Book of Revelation after I had read it about a hundred times. It's directly from Greek. I studied Greek in college. There is also a translation notes version that's available, but still working on publishing because it's difficult with, with all the Greek fonts, but that's about a hundred thousand words of notes explaining why I translated it the way that I did. It's, this translation does a cliche for cliche and word for word translation method thing. It's kind of unusual, but I'd sit there and beat my head against my desk and say, what is an English cliche that means the same thing that is word for word? And in a lot of Bible translations, we just don't think about those ideas. Well, I thought of them. I considered word count, syllables, poetry, and rhyme. It's all in there. Like I say, 10,000 word translation, 100,000 words of notes on why I translated it the way that I did. Now, the end study space is very, very special, and I want to give you a little bit of look inside my own edit files of what that looks like. Now, these are almost triple space. It's not double space, it's triple space, and there's lots of room to write. The book is square, and you can copy it, you can share it with your Bible study. That is the study space version. It's square, eight and a half inches square, and that's available, of course, only in print. Uh, of course, you can get you know, either of these books, digital copy or print copy. But study space is designed for your own serious Bible study. And like I say, you can copy and share it with a Bible study, make as many copies personally as you want. I mean, this is a free translation. What you're paying for is to get it in a specific format. 